our coursework that we've got to give in, which is what. Do you know what? I'm gonna be sick before I get out of the car. It hasn't even started. I don't Cause you're asking for it. You're dying for it. Okay, good morning guys. It is Monday today and it's actually one of my best friend's birthday. It's Ibby's birthday. So I'm up, I'm ready. I literally didn't feel like getting out of bed today, but <laughs> here I am. I've actually got a lecture from five to seven. I'm gonna go a bit early, do some work in the library, and then I'm meeting one of my friends for a coffee at four o'clock. And then we're gonna make our way to lecture together. And then I'm gonna go and take Ibby for a nice birthday meal. I'm actually getting a lift from dad today, so. We winning, no train journey for me today. Dad's waiting for me, I think. I think I'm getting a lift in the van, which um, honestly, I'm getting used to it now. Bye, mom. Happy birthday! Good evening everyone, as per usual, I'm back in the van with Dad, say hello! Hello Dad! Dad tracked me all the way to Aldi's, because me and Ibby just went to Aldi's to go and get some of her grocery shops. I got some leftover food from the restaurant, it was so good, yakinori. I've missed it so much, but it was so good. So I'm gonna have this for lunch tomorrow. What kind of food is it? It was like noodles, you won't like it. Oh. But yeah, we're on our way home and I might just actually make some rice so I can have my food prepped for tomorrow because there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do it before 9 a.m. Hey okay, guys, I'm back home. It is now 9.25. It doesn't wanna focus, hello. I'm just uploading a video. It's my weekly uni vlog. This is my third uni vlog. I'll <laughs> third uni vlog. Well, I've, I've seen the film now twice. 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 I'll pop it on screen now if you guys want to go and check it out. I had a really productive day in the library today. <sighs> wow, it's not a vlog unless I burp, is it? Let's be real. I had a really lovely day actually. It started off a bit wobbly to say the least i'm gonna have a chill night go downstairs watch some tv get in my pajamas have my obligatory green tea which i have every single day at least twice a day you guys should know by now from my vlogs i'm also gonna make some boiled rice while i just chill and watch tv so i have my lunch sorted for tomorrow it was a really productive day which means i get to literally relax this evening and there's nothing i need to really stress about i will talk to you guys probably tomorrow morning This is my lunch packed for today. I got my rice that I made last night, the noodles left over from Yakinori. Wow, I forgot the name, it's so early. And a handful of blueberries, blueberries. Blueberries, blueberries. There we go. That's my lunch. Bish bash. Bloody bosh. Oh, we lost one. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I don't He's like it when you do that angle because my eyes look f***ing cross eyed If you got cross eyed eyes, there's nothing I can oh. bloody do about it, come on. It is 8.29, I'm not lying. Wow, I'm, oh it's 8.30 now. I'm a changed woman, I'm out the house. I'm on my way to uni for an 9am. We're literally stuck in traffic. We have been for like the whole journey. Oh my god, I forgot to put earrings in. I have a 9am seminar today and that's with my main guy Ali, he's one of my favourite lecturers so I've got a seminar with him, the article that I had to read for it last, I was going to say last night but I read it in the library yesterday was actually really really interesting and he set us some questions so that's all done so if he does decide to pick on me today I'm ready for you and then at 4 mum has to meet me in town i'll keep you updated if she actually makes it because i'm just gonna be walking around like a wally in new street if she doesn't turn up on time 
for my appearance <laughs> no 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 i'm really really ill i don't know how it happened but i've got a cold and i'm just feeling really sick but i've got no choice i've got to be up because i've got two assignments due for now i'm just having a little lunch break i'm waiting for my adverts to stop loading on channel 4od because i'm watching celebrity hunted like the old ones and my mom just got me lunch and it doesn't look appetizing but it's amazing this is not good for me but it's a jacket potato with cheese beans salt pepper butter from our little village shopping centre. Here's my show ready and loaded and my assignment work in the back. everyone it is currently a thursday and the time is quarter to six i have just got home from a long study day at uni today i actually just sat in the library and was working on my assignment i'm gonna finish off my draft and then after that cut down my words and put all my references together i'm gonna do some prep reading for my seminar tomorrow that's at 9 a.m and yeah it's gonna be a productive evening I decided to take a break from studying and what did my dumbass go and do? I literally carved a pumpkin. It's fine. I recorded a video of me carving the pumpkin and I just spoke a bit about how I've been feeling after coming back after study abroad and what that has been like. Good morning guys. It is, what's the time? It's half eight in the morning and um... Mum made us leave an hour early, but we got here early and now I'm going to be freezing cold. So I've got a 9 to 11 seminar for early intervention and we're actually going over our coursework that we've got to give in, which is what... Do you know what? I'm going to be sick before I get out of the car. It hasn't even started. I've got a 9 to 11 seminar. That's for early intervention. Really important one because we're going over our coursework and all the stuff that we need to put in it. And I think that we're going to be doing like some practice of the skills that we're going to be using for our course work. i've got a break all the way up until two o'clock so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go library try and cut down the words on my project outline for my dissertation which i hopefully want to send this evening because it's due monday at 12 so i'm going to send that off today hopefully get the word count done and dusted and have that stress out the way and at two o'clock i'm going to have my neurobio lecture and i need to actually catch up on a bit of reading and stuff for that so hopefully i get that done before two i look terrible i actually look terrible but hello hi let me set you up here so <laughs> there we go that's no no she doesn't want to stay she wants to stay hello welcome back okay guys i'm back from uni i had such a bad sleep last night i literally slept for like three or four hours barely that and i obviously got up really early to get to uni on time because of the commute and yeah, so I went through my seminar, which was good. We got registered, so thank God I went. And it was actually really useful. We got given another assignment. Not looking forward to that. And after that, I finished at 11, went to the library, and I did some work in the library. I think I did like an hour and a half's work on my assignment, and it's pretty much done. I'm going to cook some lunch. I was actually going to make my own sauce, but I just discovered that we have onion and garlic bolognese. So I'm just going to probably season this to my liking and i'm making spinach and ricotta tortellini this is my favorite type of pasta lunch is sorted so i decided i want peppers and mushrooms in my sauce so we're just frying up some peppers i like my peppers to be really soft i hate when they're crunchy so i'm doing those first 
chopping some mushrooms and I just smelt the sauce and it's so strong of garlic and onion and I love that. My mushrooms and peppers are done. I fried them off. I put in there a little bit of paprika, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper and now I'm just going to boil my pasta. That's going to take five minutes and once that's boiled I'm going to add this to that. Also add some of my sauce. Previously on RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Coffee Kendall. We could tell you were nervous. This shit way too far, y'all know I don't follow. 